Greetings anglers, here we are, Tarawera. This is uh, coming up to change of light. There's fish in the area because they've been smelting around me in the last 25 minutes. And we've got a gentle sou'wester coming from over the right hand shoulder, which is probably one of the best winds to fish the shelf just makes the fish feel a bit more secure and they start feeding as opposed to being glassy when the fishing gets hard but that happens everywhere I find the southwest the best wind here and even a westerly that comes over your left hand shoulder and heads across towards Tarawara I'm fishing with a green woolly bugger with a floating line with a sink tip and a good rod length to trace on the end of that and a green woolly bugger. The blacks and the browns work equally as well here and so do caddis nymphs. This fish is giving a good account of itself. As you see I'm actually swinging on it quite hard. It doesn't bother me if it gets off because I just carry on fishing and catch another one. The fish have been smelting all around me. I've been casting to them with little success but as I cast a full line straight out over the weed beds with a slow retrieve they haven't been hitting it hard, they've just been picking it up. A lot of fishermen would just think it's a piece of weed but through practice you can realise when it's a fish. I just give it a sharp pull and that that creates the hookup. I actually caught the same fish four times tonight. So it's true. They do actually only have a brain the size of a pea. Seems to be once they get in that feeding mode, it doesn't matter. They just they just had it anyway. But this is a reasonable fish. We'll let it calm down a little bit and then we'll get it up out of the net and have a look at it. One thing I didn't do was change the batteries in my headlamp so I'm going to have a limited light so I won't be able to do too much filming because the light's actually failing now but that's a nice fish, 5 pounds it's got no spawning colours on it's a hen and it's a feeder I noticed that the other f four fish that I got, when I lifted them up out of the net, they were actually spewing out smelt. And reasonably big ones between two to three inches long. But we'll get her up out of the net and have a look at it. I always let everything go. This is a nice Tarawera fish hen, no row, the gut's not all swollen up, it's a wild fish, it's got all its fins, no tags, five pounds and in good condition. I'm quite happy to put it back. Awesome, an absolutely awesome fish. Took a green woolly bugger, probably one of the most effective flies at the moment and now it's dark it's actually just about just about pitch black but this little uh, high definition 1080p camera I brought in from China for a hundred bucks does everything a GoPro does this fish is giving a reasonable account of itself I'm not going to be here too much longer because my lights failing so after we land this one, we'll pack it in and go home and have a, have a nice hot cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit. This is a reasonable fish, a feeding fish, in good condition. Five pounds, anybody would be happy to have that. Nice fish. Anyway, 
Thanks for tuning in, and there'll be more videos soon. Have a good night.